Hi, I'm James Schilling Law, and I'm here in Brisbane. We've just arrived, and I'm here with Adam Penberthy, who's the owner of City Winery, where we're going to have a nice dinner. We've already had a few glasses of wine. Maybe, uh, maybe two or three. Maybe two or three, of course. Two or three. Now, we're going to talk with Adam about a, his restaurant, obviously, but we're also going to talk about the attractions of Brisbane. And you are a native, right? So you're Absolutely. You're Hopefully you know. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Kind so, of. W. so we're going to talk to Adam about that and a whole lot more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Adam, first of all, we just met. We're, we're kind of clicking here, and, and, and I'm telling you my life story. i got to hear yours, actually. That's it. And, and uh, tell us a little bit about, first of all, City Winery. James, thanks so much for coming down. And this is kind of weird having people with accents around in Brisbane again. I know. You know this now, is well, it's it's funny talking to people with accents. That's exactly, right. that's right. You know, we're not used to this because we've been in such a lockdown for the last couple of years, mate. Um, welcome to City Winery. So this is this is one of our venues. We've got five different venues around Brisbane. Uh, we're Brisbane's first urban winery since 1860. So the last time there was a vineyard and guys making grapes and or right. making wine, sorry, in Brisbane was in the 1800s. So we've we've kind of, if you like, brought that back to the city. Uh, 160 years on. Yeah, that's great. In fact, I, I think we on the way. I went to one of your other locations, and it wasn't the right one. Oh, you went uh, to the valley. Yeah, I went to oh, that one. Oh, did it? I was with somebody, and they had they plugged into their phone, and, and 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 we said, "There's nobody we recognize here." And the guy said, "Do you want a glass of wine?" I said, "Well, we do, but." Maybe not here. Uh, right. No, we've got a few. So, and it tricks people up all the time. Yeah, people yeah. people turn up to the wrong venue with the wrong location. But anyway, that's all right. Yes. All problems that we can solve. Now, th is this really known as a wine growing region in this area or not? No. Listen, Brisbane itself, absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. In the 1800s, people were growing grapes or wine, we were growing grapes to make wine for ports and sweet wine wines and so forth. Um, Queensland's got some really interesting growing wine growing grape growing regions like the Granite Belt and so forth. The okay. Granite Belt is a phenomenal region for the alternate varietals, Fiano, Vermentino, things like that. Um, Brisbane itself is not. So we our philosophy is to buy fruit from wherever it grows best and bring it back to the city. So we, we buy um, Shiraz from the Barossa or Grenache from McLaren Vale and so forth and then bring it to the city and get customers to come in and stomp on the grapes and be part of the whole winemaking process. We have to stomp on grapes later? Not tonight. Not okay. tonight. Okay. Not tonight. You just get the joys of drinking. I, 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 here I am. I'm worried that we're going to have to do some grape stomping later. But, you know, hey, you what the heck? I, I am dressed for the occasion. Absolutely. The occasion. Now, uh, is, most of, is most of what you serve is Australian wine though, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So everything we, everything we serve is wines that we've made so yeah they've come from australian grown regions well and truly and we're going to have a little dinner here i believe so you do serve yeah. some food right absolutely so we've got uh we've got kitchens in most of our venues one of our venues is just a cellar door but uh but yeah no kitchens in all the venues or most of the venues sorry um the philosophy is very much you know panic to plate nose to tail so we we buy typically from a, about three hours drive of brisbane you know things that we can't source from that right. region we then bring it in but you know very much a paddock to plate type philosophy and so forth okay. um we make everything in house so we make our own butter we make our own breads the, the, we, we go we, we every single morning we have chefs that come in early and they bake all the bread for the different venues and so forth so we, we, we try and make you know make that that make a culture if you like is alive and well in the business that we have no that's great and plus you're right really on the river this area and you're yeah. looking right at the story bridge which is all yeah. decked out in white so you're really in a wonderful location here it's a cracking spot you know this is a this this very much was a a trial site for us to see how our brand translated to, to the city our main locations in the fortitude valley so about five kilometers away from where we are today um and and that's you know that's that's the winery that's where people go and they can see all the tanks and the barrels and all that kind right. of stuff this is more of a cellar door in the in the city but um yeah no it, it is this has been a fantastic spot for us you know just that having that cbd crowd that workforce right yeah, on that's that this is a convention, you know, the center and all that right nearby in business. And now you got people coming back because people are starting to travel again. Right? So we've got this American accent. Hey, yeah, we got that right. American accent in Australia. <laughs> Where we are and drinking wine with you here too. And this God is, so now as, in fact, I, believe it or not, at the start of this interview, I forgot my microphone uh, in my hotel. I had to race back to do it so I could do the interview with Adam. And and uh, it actually was still there when I got there, which was great. And so I got a little chance, though, to walk up and down through Brisbane, which is amazing. It's full. I mean, every time I looked around, I said, that looks like a good place to eat. That looks like yeah. a good place to drink. So this city is kind of hopping, right? Mate, the city is absolutely bumping, thriving at the moment. You know, it's just a fantastic place. And I think, you know, for us as a business owner in this place, in city, in Brisbane, we, I, I couldn't think of a better place in Australia to be starting a business at the moment. You right. know. The, Brisbane, with the things that are happening, Queen's Wharf, this area that we're standing in at the moment gets redeveloped into this beautiful like waterfront piazza and so forth. Um, you know, 
Queen's Wharf will be, uh, I think, three hotels, um, you know, a five star, six, six, six star hotels, and so forth are going to be up there. You know, so we've got some really exciting things happening in the city. So it's a, um, yeah, no, it's a phenomenal place to be. Yeah. And, sure. and, and so, so from your perspective, if it, when Americans come here, and this is my first time, believe yep. it or not, I've been in Australia. Uh, never been in Queensland. Uh, we started this trip. This is a trip with uh, uh, Down Under Answers, which with a, 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 a several great travel advisors with me, and and they're here now. They're Dirk and Wayne outside, and and so uh, this is a, a real first time for me. So if, if I'm in Brisbane, uh, you as a native, what should I do? What should I see? Oh, listen, you have to you have to go to the islands. So many people don't come to Brisbane and they don't get out to see Morden Bay, Morden Islands right. and so forth. I think we're going to one island. You are. Yeah, yeah Friday, I think yeah, you go out to right. there. Yeah. And so that's Morden Island. Morden Island is where I go to just absolutely unwind. You know, you can be as remote as you want to be or you can be kind of caught up in the the, in the, um, the resorts and so forth and, and enjoy that as well. You know, it just offers something for everything and it's a beautiful part of the world. The, the, the nightlife, the dining scene in Brisbane is has really changed over the last few years. Um, the last, well, shouldn't not the last few years, the last decade. Um, you know, there's some great places to be, as you've seen and experienced in your time here. And uh, and yeah, no, I, I, Brisbane's a great place. Really, really yeah, nice in place. In fact, I saw it. it's, it's hopping. It's hopping, and it's some really our our hotel is a restored hotel that has wonderful Where are you rooms. Uh, we're seeing the Adina Apartments, oh, yeah, cool. uh, which is not, not not that they've restored it, and it's an a, a older old bank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it, they've done a lovely job. And I actually interviewed the sales director there earlier tonight, and then I just interviewed the, your Brisbane Airport uh, gentleman, and so uh, Oliver. Yep. And okay. so, uh, and they're all excited because you got more air service coming yeah. here as of October from the states. That's right? exactly right. United, yeah, we're thrilled, absolutely. Yeah, so, direct big news today, literally yeah. heading today. When you guys see this, it'll be a few weeks afterwards. But anyway, uh, listen, Adam, I want to thank you for filling us in. So, when you come to Brisbane, you got to come down, see Adam, uh, have a few drinks at the city winery, have have some dinner. Uh, then go out on the town, go to see the islands, go to see the Story Bridge right here. Yeah. There's a lot, a, a lot of good stuff going on in this town uh, that m most people, I, I want to go to Sydney, I want to go to Melbourne, I want to go to, I mean, I've been to Adelaide, I've been to all three, but I always wanted to come to Brisbane, and so now finally I'm here. And thank you for hosting us tonight, James. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate it. Love it. And then you this, this is this is a winery. So and and you already drank yours. So, but I was too uh, excited. I, I know. So so I really just got a bottle right here. Uh, cheers to you. Thanks, James. Thank you, and cheers to Brisbane. And please come come by, book your clients here, and you're going to find you know they're really going to enjoy it. Again, I'm James Schillinglaw. And this is Insider Travel Report.